Hello, uh, welcome to this uh, lecture, uh, video lecture. Uh, this le in this lecture, we will discuss about the introduction of uh, minimizing the leakage power. This is uh, fifth chapter of low power VLSI. In this, we will be discussing about uh, uh, introduction, fabrication of multiple threshold voltages, approaches for uh, minimizing the leakage power, adiabatic logic, battery driven systems, and CAD tools for low power VLSI circuits. Uh, every topic of this unit is very much interesting and uh, you can learn a lot uh, in the consecutive videos. So let us uh, start uh, with the introduction of this uh, chapter. The chapter heading is minimizing the leakage power. Our aim, complete aim of this chapter will be at minimizing the leakage power. So performance improvement can be done by the gradual decrease of gate capacitance. See, uh, VLSI world, uh, VLSI devices are scaled down day by day very aggressively. It means uh, if uh, if this year you the latest technology is of 90 nanometers, the coming year it will be of 62 nanometers. Earlier the channel length, uh, this nanometer technology is the distance between the drain and source or the channel length. Now this channel length was larger previously, uh, it was in micrometers, now we have jumped into nanometers size devices. So nanometer size devices definitely will have uh, very less capacitance compared to the micrometer devices. So as the capacitance is uh, decreasing, its performance will definitely improve. Yes, the ch because uh, channel length and width, channel length and width, area of the channel is one plate of the capacitor and the uh, gate structure is the other plate of the capacitor so that that forms a capacitance now uh, performance improvement depends upon uh, this capacitance so if the capa inversely proportional if the capacitance size uh, capacitance uh, decreases improvement uh, in the performance is very good and the another parameter is supply voltage scaling uh, to scale uh, with the device size uh, to, to, to meet the physical uh, and electrical requirements of the scaling when the device size is scaled down you need not to maintain VCC or VDD at uh, that previous level of uh, some 5 volts or something it can be it can also be scaled down the supply voltage can also be scaled down when you uh, scale down the supply voltage definitely the device leakage uh, current will reduce uh, it is directly proportional device leakage current is proportional to the supply voltage so you are trying to reduce square of the supply voltage you are trying to reduce the supply voltage when you reduce the supply voltage it is very obvious that uh, the vt typical value of vt will be 0 0.2 vdd supply voltage 20 percent of the supply voltage will be threshold voltage so threshold voltage of a transistor should also be scaled down at the same rate to maintain the gate overdrive performance. This gate overdrive performance uh, is uh, denoted as VDD by VT. In this slide it is written VCC, it is VDD by VT. Now this overdrive voltage is represented as uh, voltage between transistor gate and source excess of the threshold voltage uh, VGS that means voltage between transistor gate and source that is VGS in excess of threshold voltage reduction of VT is exp uh, uh, threshold voltage reduction of VT exponentially increase the sub threshold leakage current what is sub threshold leakage current when uh, the gate voltage crosses threshold voltage when the gate voltage crosses the threshold voltage then channel forms then only there should be a current flow between drain and source but because of so many reasons before reaching the gate voltage, before reaching the threshold voltage there are there will be some charge carriers leak from drain and reaches the source where source is connected to ground now there is a current flowing from drain to source before threshold voltage and reaching ground is a leakage current so 
दिस इज सब थ्रेशोल्ड वोल्टेज रिडक्शन ऑफ वी टी एक्सपोनशियल इंक्रीज एज दी सब थ्रेशोल्ड करेंट सी हियर दिस इज थ्रेशोल्ड वोल्टेज वेन इट इज पॉइंट एट इट इज वेरी लो वेन इट इज पॉइंट सिक्स इट इज इंक्रीजिंग इट इज स्लोली 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 इंक्रीजिंग एज द थ्रेशोल्ड वोल्टेज इज डिक्रीजिंग सो दिस ग्राफ क्लियरली रिप्रेजेंट्स सब थ्रेशोल्ड वोल्टेज इज इंक्रीजिंग एज द एज थ्रेशोल्ड वोल्टेज इज डिक्रीजिंग एंड एज थ्रेशोल्ड वोल्टेज इज डिक्रीजिंग देर इज ए चेंज इन डिले ऑल्सो डिले टाइम दिस इज डिले वोल्टेज कर थ्रेशोल्ड वोल्टेज ऑल्सो डिपेंड्स अपॉन डिले स्केलिंग द सप्लाई वोल्टेज इंक्रीजेज द डिले वोल्टेज स्केलिंग डाउन द सप्लाई वोल्टेज इंक्रीजेज द डिले वोल्टेज इट इज डिस्कस्ड इन यूनिट प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर्स यू कैन रिफर एंड यू विल अंडरस्टैंड हाउ सप्लाई वोल्टेज डिपेंड्स अपॉन डिले नाउ मैक्सिमम इंक्रीज इन डिले एज सप्लाई वोल्टेज अप्रोसेज द थ्रेशोल्ड वोल्टेज when uh, supply voltage is scaled down 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 for example if threshold voltage is 1 volt and supply voltage is also made like 1.5 volts or so the delay will be very high because as just now discussed the threshold voltage of the transistor should be scaled at the same ratio to overcome the gate overdrive when gate overdrive is excess the delay will also be excess this limits the supply voltage to a minimum about twice the threshold voltage that means if you are you is if your technology is having 1 volt as the gate threshold voltage supply voltage will, should be at least minimum at least 2 volts uh now coming to the delay delay is kept constant if the threshold voltage is scaled at the same rate as vt if uh, vt by uh, vdd should be made constant so that delay is also constant if not delay will increase or decrease leakage power uh, now uh, another th mm, point in this uh, lecture is leakage power reduction techniques this leakage power reduction techniques are based on controlling the threshold voltage and these are divided into two categories categorization one is standby uh, technique and another one is run time technique Uh, if something is done during fabrication itself that is called as uh, standby technique if something is done during the uh, device operation then it is treated as run time technique the leakage power reduction technique can be categorized like this when the circuit or a part of it is in use the the circuit which is active will only get the clock because clock Uh, contributes 50% of the leakage power dynamic power dissipation 50% of the dynamic power dissipation so uh, controlling the clock uh, wherever unnecessary cutting off the clock wherever unnecessary is called as clock gating this clock gating is one technique uh, which can be done as which which can be categorized as standby power reduction technique transistor stacking stacking the transistor one over the other is another technique which will be discussed in the coming uh, topics coming lectures variable threshold voltage cmos technique that means uh, threshold voltage is fixed during manufacturing but in some technologies threshold voltage is variable that is variable threshold voltage cmos called vt cmos and mt cmos is multiple threshold voltage cmos a device will have multiple threshold voltages all this are the some examples of uh, uh, standby uh, power reduction techniques run time power reduction techniques are when the device is in uh, actual uh, run time actual running running during running if you are doing something uh, some algorithm if you are using to reduce the power that is called as run time power reduction techniques all that techniques which are implemented during the fabrication are called as static power reduction techniques the techniques which are used to use during the operation yes, of the circuit are called as dynamic power reduction techniques uh, now these are this uh, this mtc mas power gating isolation strategy are uh, are some of the uh, 
discussed uh, power reduction techniques. This is about the introduction. I hope you understood. Thank you.